How y'all doing? Hey, Torian. Doing good, doing good. Over here on your left. Um, what went into your decision to sign with the Lakers this offseason, and uh, what, what do you see your potential role on this team being? Um, just really being around a lot of guys who, who, who want one goal in mind, and that's to, to win it all and to be around that standard and to see it every day, feel it every day, and, um, and have to be about that every day. I think it's going to raise the level of uh, how I carry myself and um, not only the ball player I become, but the man I become as well. So just a good situation, um, great city, uh, and uh, who wouldn't want to be a Laker? Over here, Torian. What was it like playing against AD and LeBron all those years, and what's it feel like now to be on their team? Uh, playing against those guys is obviously a, a tough matchup. Um, obviously, impact players that you focus on going into the game. Um, and uh, I think, I don't know what I am against LeBron or AD, but I think they've had their fair share of wins against me. And um, to be on the same team with them now, it just just try to add on my dynamics to, to that I can bring to a team and, and help them be the best they could be and, um, and, and see, what, see what happens. Torian, kind of touching on that question, but even broader, with the Lakers last season, how have you seen them grow from, I guess, early last season to what you saw from in the playoffs uh, and beyond? Yeah, well, they went through a lot uh, last season as far as different dynamic of team. Um, they made some transitions in the midway point as well, and, and they were still able to come together and get to the, uh, the Western Conference Finals. So uh, when you see that and you're able to put a good group together and uh, keep them together, I think um, the sky's the limit. Hi, Torian. Over here. Uh, can you just talk about a little, bit, a little bit about your relationship with Darvin Ham going back to, I guess, Atlanta and what kind of factor he played in you coming here? Yes, um, Ham was my assistant coach my first two years in the league. Um, was big on my player development along with uh, Taylor uh, with uh, Memphis right now. Um, and they, they, they helped me get to kind of like the foundation that I needed to stay in the league. Um, a lot of people get here, but it's pretty tough to, to stay here. And I don't think young guys realize that. So um, Ham was a big part of that. And I'm glad that I was able to sustain that relationship and keep a good rapport with him throughout my years. And um, everything comes full circle now. So I'm glad to have him as my head coach. What's up, Torian? How you doing? Um, you, Vando signed. I know you. I mean, you signed too as well. Was there ever a point where you, was there ever a point where you guys had a conversation after you guys both signed and Vando had his extension? Then also, you shot almost thirty-eight percent from the three last year. Um, what are some elements you feel like you're going to bring to this team too, as far as shooting? Some that uh, a need that the Lakers have had, you know, over the years with shooting. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, when it comes to Vando, um, you see the work. Uh, when he signs something like that, you're not really surprised because of the work he puts in on his craft. He's found his niche and um, he's excelled at it, especially over the last few seasons um, since signing his last deal. So I'm very happy for him. And we didn't have a conversation. I think it was more so just giving me the lay of the land since he's been here. But um, I appreciate everything he's been able to do for me since being here. But uh, to answer your second question, uh, I plan to shoot the same, obviously. Um, I have a lot of mechanics that I've gotten better over better at over the summer. So I plan to put those into use and um, hit that 40 clip like I've, I've been trying to hit over the past few seasons. Um, I was very close to it last season, but sustained the injury, kind of threw me off my rhythm. But uh, that's that's how the cards were dealt. We still was able to shake back and shoot a good percentage going into the end of the season, into the playoffs. So just trying to bring that consistency to the team from the position that I play and, um, and a lot of energy. A lot of energy, get the fans going, and try to get as many dubs as possible. Hey, Tori and Dan White with the LA Times. Welcome. Um, what is it about finding a role in the NBA that's challenging for players? And and you know, you were a guy who was first round pick, score the ball and stuff like that, but have kind of developed into a more versatile player. What was that? Was that difficult to kind of figure out what it was that you needed to do to to stick? And I guess when did it click? Man, it was difficult. My first. I would say two, three years coming from um, being the quote unquote guy at Baylor and then um, having to come into a, I, what they call a 3 and D situation. So I was fighting that a little bit as a young guy, but I think now being um, who I am and knowing who I am and um, also knowing the dynamic of team and what it means to, to be a team guy, um, 
that brings me to, to, to perfecting the three-point shot, being a, being a cutter, being someone who can attack last second shot clock, just being an all-around tool and um, just trying to make things happen at all times while I'm on the floor.